Ladies and gentlemen, you are looking at the greatest or one of the greatest icons in the history of the 21st century, or the world for that matter, only to be outdone by the Great Pyramid. And this is lesson number one, and we are going to describe what this word phrase actually interprets into, which is in fact the Lord God's first of 10 commandments. In that, thou shalt have no other gods before me, AKA, in God we trust one. Now, why do I call it the sea of glass? which is referenced in the book of Revelation 4, 6 and 15, 2. Well, this icon that you see before you has a lattice structure of a trapezoidal nature. Now, God is represented as light or the light of the world, for without light, the world could not exist. And of course, we all know that the glory of God is the sun. But what you didn't know is that this lattice that appears only appears on the $1 bill and no other place does this lattice on any bill exist. Now, if it represents, and it does, a prism because a piece of glass cut in a trapezoidal nature is in fact a prism. It represents light because light is dispersed through a prism. That is why I put the color bands on the three letters of the $1 bill on the word one. So we have a direct reference to the Lord God's first commandment and we have a direct reference to the words in Revelation 4, 6 and Revelation 15, 2. Now let's go see what these two phrases actually reference. And we're gonna do that by using the ESWORD Bible program by Rick Myers, which is a downloadable free Bible version of the book of Revelation. Now, Revelation 4, 6, to prove that what I said about the sea of glass is in fact correct. And before the throne, there was a sea of glass like unto a crystal. And in the midst of the throne and round about the throne were four beasts full of eyes before and behind. Now, these four beasts are in fact these two faces that appear facing down on a 45 degree angle and facing up on a 45 degree angle. However, if we rotate the camera 180 degrees, there are two more faces facing down and to the and upwards again. These faces with eyes that are circled with pink lines, in this case, are the reference to the eyes in the book of Revelation 4, 6. The eyes that were before and behind. Now, Revelation 15, 2, and I saw, as it were, a sea of glass mingled with fire, and then that had gotten victory over the beast. Now, we all know what the beast is. The beast is, well, the beast is many things, but in this case, the Lord Jesus said that money is the root of all evil. Therefore, money is the beast. And over his image, and over his mark, and over the number of his name, stand on the sea of glass, having harps of God. Now, if Jesus said that the sea of glass had gotten victory over the beast, it means that the sea of glass is represented as something greater than the beast, and it is. Because if you'll notice, it is the largest lettering on any dollar bill 
ever produced until just recently in their new series. However, that in and of itself is not as significant as the way it is represented. Now, if you look at it from a 60 degree angle, you will notice that the words are highlighted with, in fact, seven lines that represent or actu actuate or uh, insinuate that the lettering is raised above the rest of the words on the dollar bill. Nowhere else is there a shadowing to raise the word. So if it's raised up off the bill, it, it infers that it is higher than, which in fact interprets into that it has gotten domination over the beast, which is in fact money. However, this in and of itself, aka the large letters, all in capitals, which is basically in a computer talk, yelling or screaming in this case, the highlighted letters and the fact that the letters represent the trapezoidal nature of a crystalline nature, aka light, God is light the light of the world. This is why this word represents God in the sense of God being light and why it represents the first commandment of the Ten Commandments, thou shalt have no other gods before me. Now I could go on about this but this is lesson one, and we're going to keep these brief. So thank you for watching my dissertations. And this may, or may not be the only take I take on this sea of glass. But you should know that on the dollar bill, all the secret societies, <coughs> excuse me, all the secret societies, including the Masons and the Illuminati, and the fact that the Vatican controls the United States currency and always has are going to be discussed in this series. And thank you for watching my videos and this is Michael Fazio. God day to everybody from Michael Fazio in the Philippines baby. And remember and the arc that they wrote in on. Because, ladies and gentlemen, the dollar bill does a lot more than represent money. It represents the beast, and it represents God, and it is the Lord God's first commandment. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. In God we trust one. Ha! The big question is which one?